Jesus Christ. That's Bloody Marshall! Hello everybody, my name is Bloody Marshall, and welcome back to another video. As someone who constantly uploads videos on YouTube, constantly watches YouTube videos, Twitch fucking sucks, alright? And it's been like that for a very long time. I don't think I'm the only one in the world that genuinely believes that Twitch one day is gonna just completely dissipate from this entire planet. I mean, it's not really something that's unpopular. Sure, there are some people that would disagree with that claim, but it seems like every day that goes by, there's another Twitch streamer that has done something that they shouldn't be doing and just completely goes against what everybody thinks. This is the case for a Twitch streamer named Casey Tron. If you don't know, she's a person that sits there and yaps about random bullshit, especially recently. They used to upload video games, but uh, nobody's here for that, alright? Nobody gives a fuck. Nobody wants to sit there and watch a girl play fucking video game. No offense to the people that actively watch Pokemon sit there and play fucking video games. No offense to you whatsoever. Casey Tron has come out and had a meltdown on Twitter about a YouTuber named Asmongold. He's also a streamer. I don't know why I call him a YouTuber. He's huge on both, actually. I don't really like Asmongold personally, just because the guy likes to post a lot of React content on YouTube and it gets re recommended to people while the original video doesn't and so he essentially steals the views from the people who originally made the content and he doesn't offer anything. It's not like he's doing commentary. He sits there with a gaping mouth and his eyebrows bouncing all over the place and essentially looks at the content and doesn't say anything about it. Doesn't give any sort of education he doesn't input anything that's my problem with him but that's 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 for a whole different video all right we're talking about casey tron here casey tron sat there and randomly came out and went against asmongold and essentially attacked his lifestyle because the dude's a millionaire and doesn't spend a whole lot of money on flashy equipment or a flashy house that's essentially what it was. And it was also because he has a stigma uh, for uh, him and a lot of his audience that they're a bunch of fucking basement dwellers that do nothing but play World of Warcraft all fucking day. Which is a valid fucking stereotype, alright? I mean, have you seen Asmongold's room? He has thousands of fucking plates of food and random drinks on his side and he does nothing about it, alright? But... I had a problem with Casey Tron because she sat there and brought up Asmongold's dead mother as some sort of reason for why he's acting the way he is. That is fucking disgusting. Thank God fire. I downloaded Monopoly, Risk of Rain, Risk Global Domination, the geography yes, I did version, like that tweet. It says, seven. thankfully, Thank XQC's lifestyle hasn't led directly to the death of one of his parents yet, so he has that going for him over Asmin at least. I'll admit, I did like that tweet, and... I I have a lack of respect for Asmund Gold after letting his mom with COPD live in those sort of conditions. I'm Man, these people are actually fucking celebrating that. That's just like sorry. Like That's you're a millionaire, right. you have all of the resources in the world. Why is your sick mother living like that? Like I'll say it, I don't care. If that makes me a bad person, I'm still miles above of Asmund Gold. Miles above Asmongold. I'm sorry. Like, I have literally a fraction of the income, and I take better care of my parents than that. And I... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, Ron's here in two minutes, by the way. Well, this was never about him taking care of his mother. What the fuck? I mean, do you really expect anything much from somebody who fucking looks like this? I mean, really, do, do we expect anything, like, more or less from this fucking person? No, we don't, all right? This person looks like a, a crackhead edition of Adept, all right? They look like Adept if she did a little more meth and a little more heroin. It's kind of ironic because this person posts on Twitter, oh, Happy 420, everybody, I'm smoking that weed, doing the ganja. Well, guess what? You're burning your fucking brain cells, all right? It's getting fucking terrible. You're burning your brain cells. Stop it. Put the blunt down. Look at yourself in the mirror and realize that you have a lot more problems to deal with rather than going on Twitter and, and mashing the keyboard, getting angry at Asmongold. How dare he be a dirty human being? Even though he's really just living his life and it's really, in the grand scheme of things, not that big of a deal, she's just making it a bigger thing because she's projecting, right? She's projecting. She sees a little bit of her dirty lifestyle in Asmongold and she's trying to save him from it. And if you think that Asmongold just sat there and just took all of this bullshit, no, no the fuck he didn't. He responded straight back on Twitter, calling her a fat pig. I mean, 
yeah you, you couldn't get any better than that i mean this is this is asmin gold at his peak prime form all right him coming back like that just makes me love him a little bit more all right i don't like his content but it makes me like him as a person that much more the fact that he didn't just sit by and let her spew this fucking bullshit i it, it's amazing actually the quartering actually responded to this tweet and and kind of you know bigged up asmin gold like yeah get her ass asmin gold and <laughs> after the quartering did that casey tron decided to respond to both of them Saying that, oh, they got turned down by girls like me in high school. G girls like her? She's barely a girl. She, she, she should be on the fucking O-line. Right? She should be on the offensive line. And she, she should be tackling for the fucking the Pittsburgh Steelers, alright? She needs to be on their fucking line tackling people. She should not be on Twitter mashing her keyboard complaining about, oh my god, these men on Twitch. They're just so bad. Who gives a fuck, alright? But sew up your pussy sew it up and start acting a little more fucking kind all right we're all people we're all humans try to be a little kinder would you instead of mashing your keyboard on fucking twitter i mean i don't mean to fad shame or anything but the only thing bigger than this fucking whale is their ego all right their ego is through the roof i don't know if it's all the weed smoking i don't know if it's just because they're a pothead but they definitely have some sort of egotistical narcissist fucking thing going on. Now, she didn't just get mad at Asmongold. She also got mad at XQC. XQC went and defended Asmongold after Casey Tron had her little fucking pity party because she was mad at herself and wanted to project it on others. And she got mad at XQC. She sat there and said, actually, guys, I think that XQC is jealous of Mizkif, which this literally has nothing to do with anything ha that has been said or uttered from XQC. She just decided to bring it up because she ran out of ammunition to, to say to people. And so she decided to say, oh, he's jealous of Mizkif and he really needs to step up his content. And, and Mizkif is a good person and he makes gems and is doing podcasts with Pokimane. Who, who gives a fuck, all right? People on Twitch are fucking degenerates. They're losers, all right? You sit in front of a screen and play video games, and most of them sit there and complain that they have to do that for five hours a day. You have to sit there in front of a screen and play video games and talk to thousands of people for five hours a day. And sometimes, you don't even have to do it every single day. If you're one of the big ones, you barely have to do it once a week. Once a week. Some people would kill for that. I would. I would. I would. I, I can't even say what I would fucking do to get that position. To be able to do what you love doing every single day for five hours, maybe six, and get paid thousands of upon thousands of dollars. That's what a lot of people complain about on Twitch. You don't see too many people complain about that on YouTube. But you do see it on Twitch. All right, let's get back on topic, all right? Yes, yeah, so this person came after XQC, and just like Asmongold, XQC did not just sit there and fucking take it from this lady. He actually might have went harder than Asmongold. He sent her a meme of a chicken getting reticerated and some fat girl dancing around a pole. This is what he did, all right? And it made me love XQC just as much as I loved Asmongold, all right? <laughs> I've been a throw up the sex in a <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> XQC does the same reaction content as Asmin Gold. It just so happens that XQC does it a little more respectfully and actually tries to interject and add stuff to it. Asmin Gold does not. He sits there and watches shit with his gaping mouth and says, "Oh, every couple of a uh, couple of minutes, just to keep people." just to remind people that he's there in the corner of the fucking screen anyways that's all i had to say i hope you enjoyed the video i didn't really use captions for this video because i i didn't really like it the way it blended with the video 
Anyways, that's all. Smash your dick, smash your balls, um, grab them, crank them, spin them, twist them, throw it in the air, collect it, snatch it back, clip it back onto your dick. Go ahead, like the video if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it, and I am out. You think it's so fucking funny, huh? Uh, funny, funny, funny.